Hey everyone, it's Miss Paula back with you again. I always love seeing all of you online. So today I wanted to play another game with you. So this game is called Sink or Float. So I have a bunch of objects here and I'm going to put them in this water, let's call it the vase of science. It's full of water and I want you to tell me which objects are going to float and which ones are going to sink, okay? All right, so let's start with this button. Do you think it's going to sink or is it going to float? Okay, we'll see, ready? Do you see it going down? It's sunk. All right, next we have this big rock. Is it going to sink or float? I think so too. Are you ready? That totally sunk. Okay, trick one. Here's a tiny rock. What do you think it's going to do? Is it going to sink or is it going to float? All right, let's find out. It sunk too. Okay, how about this pom-pom ball? What do you think? I think so too. Here we go. It, it's floating. Oh, wait. Oh, it's still floating. It's absorbed the water, but it is still floating. Next, we have this feather. Sink or float? All right, let's find out. See if you're right. It's floating. What about this pencil? Sink or float? Okay, we'll see if you're right with this one. It's floating too. All right, this quarter. Sink or float? I'm gonna guess it's going to sink. And splash around. <laughs> yep, it sank. Next, we have this little toy. Sink or float? I'm gonna say it's going to float. It's floating. Okay, paper clip. Sink or float? Okay, here we go. It sank. Clothes pin. Floats. Popsicle stick. Okay, I'm guessing that too. Ready? One, two, three. It float. It floated. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, and last but not least, we have this crayon. Is it going to sink? or is it going to float? What do you think? This is your last chance. Okay, me too. I'm guessing that too. Here we go. One, on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. I thought it was going to float. I was wrong. Did anyone else guess that it was going to sink? Well done. All right, so thanks for playing. So you can try this at home with your family or maybe at school or with your friends and see if they can guess what will sink or what will float. So today's true story is about how Jesus walked on water. He walked on water. How amazing is that? So don't forget that before the story, there is a chance for you to get up and dance. So I'm going to be dancing and I hope you will be joining me. See you soon. No matter what, no matter what, Jesus' love for me will never change. No way, eh. He's always there, He's always there, taking care of me, and I believe Jesus, you and me are friends forever. We are, we are, I know. Friends forever, we are, we are, I know. 
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. My aunt gave me this fun baby bathtub so I could pretend to give all my toy friends a bath. I found all this fun stuff that goes together with a bath. Like, what's this? A rubber ducky! That's right! Rubber duckies go together with bath time. Do you know what else goes together with bath time? Bubbles! Bubbles are so much fun! Let's all splash and make lots of pretend bubbles. Ready? Splish, splash, splish, splash. Bubbles go together with bath time too. There's another thing that goes together with bath time. A fuzzy towel! Towels go together with bath time. Grrr. Alrighty, now who needs a bath? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Poppy! Who? Who? Playing with things that go together, are you? Hey, Ollie! I sure am! All these things go together with my new baby bathtub! Tubs and duckies go together, it's true! But I know a friend who goes together with you! Listen to this story! Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Uno, dos, tres. Oh, hola, friends. It's so good to see you. My name's Luis. I'm getting a fun game ready for my niece's birthday party. <laughs> it's called Ducks and Water. They just go together, don't they? <laughs> We're going to see how many of these ducks we can get to float in this little pool. <laughs> this reminds me of a story from the Bible. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno! Dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins at a beach where... Jesus had been teaching people all day. Jesus told his friends, the disciples, to get in a boat to go across the lake. Jesus said goodbye to the crowd, and he went up to a mountain to pray by himself. While the disciples were in the boat, the wind began to blow. Can you help me be the wind? Put your arms up like this and be the wind. Woo, woo, woo. Ready? One, two, three. Three, go! <laughs> Keep going! <laughs> okay, stop. The wind was rocking the boat back and forth, and the disciples didn't know what to do. Just then, they saw something on the water. Do you see it? Raise your hand if you see it. Oh, it looks like... A person! Jesus' friends were scared. Ooh, can you show me your scared faces? That's exactly how they felt. And they thought, could there really be a person walking on water? Huh. Who do you think it was walking on the water towards them? Hmm. Let's see. All of a sudden, the person said, it's me. 
don't be afraid. It was Jesus walking on the water. The disciples were so happy to see Jesus and amazed to see him walking on water because they didn't think anyone could walk on the water. <laughs> well, right away, Peter said, Jesus, if it's you, tell me to walk to you on the water. And Jesus said, come. Peter stepped out of the boat. Guess what? Peter started walking on the water towards Jesus. Only Jesus could help Peter walk on the water. But then Peter looked around and he saw the wind and he got scared and he started to sink in the water. But Jesus reached out and caught him so he wouldn't sink. Then they got back in the boat together. Wow! Jesus was with Peter and Jesus is always with us too. Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus was always with Peter, and Jesus is always with you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus is always with Peter, and Jesus is always with us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Bubbles and bath time go together. But the best thing that goes together are my friend Jesus and me. See you guys next time. Bye! I am with you always, Matthew 28, 20. I am with you always, Matthew 28, 20. Wonderful is it that Jesus wants to be our friend. He wants to talk to us. He wants us to talk to him. And we can tell him when we are sad or when we're scared or when we're angry. He wants to be your friend. You tell your friends when you are sad or happy or scared, right? Jesus wants to be our friend and he wants to tell us those things too. He loves us no matter what. And I think that is incredible news. Do you? Me too. All right, it's almost time for us to go, but before we do, I want to pray with you. Would you pray with me? Okay, let's pray. Dear God, you are so amazing. Thank you for loving us and for sending us Jesus to be our friend. Thank you that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. You are so good, God, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for playing this game with me today. Try it at home. I would love to hear if you got some things to float or to sink or which objects were floating and which ones were sinking. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.